and so many of you were talking about First Lady Michelle Obama on Facebook and Twitter. She dazzled the crowd in this Versace rose gold chain mail dress. The disco vibe of the dress was enhanced with sleek straight hair and side swept bangs. And check this out. This is the Obama's first state dinner in honor of India back in November of 2009. You know, pep rallies are pretty awesome. I'm with it. But pep rallies that feature a police officer dancing to Beyonce's formation, well, that's even better. Check it out. Oh, they're getting down in Stafford County. That's a sheriff's deputy breaking it down to Beyonce at North Stafford High School's homecoming pep rally. As you might expect, this video has gone ultra viral. Mm. I love it when he kicks his leg up and then goes down and then starts doing that thing. What he's doing now, he's like, he's like, when this is done, I'm going to need a nap. Topper's got moves like that. Mm -mm. I don't know, but he's done a lot. I mean, that's just great for relations. That's just awesome. He's officer friendly and, officer, and officer friendly. dancing friendly. Apparently. Exactly right. No. <laughs> well, remember how we were a bit concerned about the three degree guarantee? How'd I wasn't do? concerned. Yeah, I didn't think Adam was very concerned. No, well, no. well, the wind came from the south and that's along the river for national. So it's kind of colder there. So we went 85. Thank goodness we made 82. So we're OK. It was 85 at Dulles. Would have been a bullseye at Dulles, but you know, we don't do Dulles. We uh, talk about national. So we're 60 at last 64 and we're going to go 84 for high tomorrow. I think we'll have just a few more clouds, but essentially the same air mass and not quite southerly winds. 70 right now downtown is crazy. Uh, dew points in the upper 60s. That's pretty warm and pretty muggy uh, for this time of year. Our average high is 68. So at 11 o'clock, if we're 70, things are topsy turvy. All right, bus stop temperature 62 to 74. A little patchy fog, but pretty comfortable and still warm tomorrow and still warm Thursday. But then showers and falling temps on Friday. Blustery weekend, probably the coldest so far, probably the coldest air mass we've seen uh, so far Saturday and Sunday and even into parts of next week. So again, springing back to reality, so to speak, 84 tomorrow, 81 on Thursday, 70 on Friday. But remember falling temps. Remember the day is going to be warmer when you leave for work than when you return. 58 on Saturday and 62 on Sunday and that 62 may be generous uh, on Sunday. All right, future cast. 6 o'clock in the morning, we're still in the upper 60s. 66 in Bowie, 66 in uh, Fairfax, and also Fredericksburg. That's amazing. By 9 o'clock, we're around 70 everywhere. And then by lunchtime, you'll be able to eat lunch outside if you want to. A few clouds roll in, but look at the temperatures. 82 downtown. Even warm up in Cumberland and Romney, despite the clouds. Upper 70s. That's pretty incredible. By evening, a couple of showers are possible here and there. I think they'll be a little further south. I think probably south of I-66. But look at that. We're still 81 downtown, 80 in Sterling, and 81 in Fredericksburg. And then by 10 o'clock, there will be a couple showers kind of waning through most of the uh, metro area. But temperatures like summer, uh, upper 60s to mid 70s. That's uh, actually uh, pretty crazy. And then by morning on uh, Thursday, well, by after midnight, temperatures are still in the upper 60s to around 70. And we are looking at uh, a couple of showers still overnight Wednesday. Tonight, though, no worries. Clear to partly cloudy, mild. A little patchy fog, lows in the 60s, and light winds. That's that's it. So we'll break it down for you. 69 to start, and then 70 by 9 o'clock, uh, 77 by 11 o'clock, and a few clouds kind of work their way back in, but not before it's 82 uh, by 1 o'clock. Now, Thursday, a couple of showers possible early in the morning, maybe a thunderstorm late, but not a bad day, not yellow weather alert worthy, 81. Cannot say the same for Friday. We'll have a wet commute going to work and temps falling throughout the day. Next seven days. Uh, I tell you what, a little chilly over the weekend, but generally dry. Now we have a little drop in there, but don't despair. Foster, everything's fine. Terps are going to be fine. Homecoming will be fine. It will be blustery. 58, 62 on Sunday, and then mid 60s on Monday and Tuesday. And that might be uh, too warm, but we'll stick with that uh, for now. So, uh, well, it's back to reality, you know. October. I so nicely for you to take the rain it's off. And She's getting more nervous by the day. Yeah. It'll be in the mountains. Don't worry about it. This is okay. entertaining Good hair value. Day. All right, so it's 83 <laughs> degrees, and we're talking yeah. about ice hockey. Talk about ice hockey. <laughs> it was hot in there, yeah. even though it was freezing. It was hot in there. It was a big night for the Washington Capitals. They honored their Vesna winning goalie, plus a breakthrough. Two things happened tonight that have yet to happen this season. Sports is next. Let the traffic wait. Watch WUSA 9.